Hello and welcome to Afterburner 2, which was a strange name for it, seeing as there wasn't actually an Afterburner 1 that I ever remember. Perhaps I'm wrong, maybe someone can tell me that there was an Afterburner, but I pretty much don't think so. I'm pretty certain they just thought, yeah, we'll, we'll call this Afterburner 2, because then everyone will be interested in knowing what Afterburner 1 is and they'll never be able to find it. I don't know, I don't know, but here we go. Let's get cracking. Mega Drive version, pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go. Um, obviously the arcade was the version, but um, oh, that's missile. Oh, rah, rah, rah. oh cripes! Yes, a pretty good version, really. Um, a lot of people play it and don't know what they're doing. Um, and you know, um, it's not surprising. It's quite confusing and quite fast-paced. And compared to many games, it's just absolutely ridiculously hard. But you just basically gotta just try and shoot as many as you can with your guns if they're close. If not, target them with your target, get this, and then just whoa, and dodge the missiles. Simple, simple as pie. Well, almost. Oh, and you can do that as well. Let's just try and practice because. That was quite important. Yeah, come on, spin it, spin. Doom. Yeah, that's why you do it. God, it's on inverted controls and it's just doing my head in. I can't play it on inverted controls. I should have changed them up. Is well, it's not on inverted controls. That's the problem. You know, on most games I don't like inverted controls, but on playing games. Oh, I like inverted controls and I'm pressing the wrong way and it's not gonna help me. Come on. I love the Master System version of this as well. It was absolutely tough. Tough as tough could be. I mean, this version's tough, but you've got more chance because it, it actually runs at a decent rate. Oh, a bit up, a bit up. No, I'm going down again and I'm dead. Ah. Now obviously the things going for this game are the fast super 3D sensation you get and the music. The music in this game is just classic. I mean, I just can't think of many games that I prefer the music on. Just kick ass. I don't know who did the music to this, but they did a good job. I mean, I watch a lot of videos and people who play the same sort of games as me and they all know who does the music. I don't know they just research it first, but I never had a clue who did any of the music in these games. I just knew I liked the music because it was great. Um, but I never really got into it. Same as with films. You know, as people go, oh, yes, great film, directed by Peter Jackson or whatever. And I'm like, oh right, yeah. Um, I don't know who directed the film, it's just a film. I liked it. So you don't, you know, people go, you don't follow films by directors. I'm like, no, I don't. Not really. I just follow films occasionally. But anyway, that's Afterburner 2. Uh, you can see I didn't do that well. Got to what level 4 was it? Um, not too bad. But I'd have to change the uh, the control system to get further. But I'm sure I could get back into that. Uh, and the secret was don't stay still too long. It's very similar to Space Area in that respect. Um, make sure you keep going up and down the screen so that the uh, missiles can't get a lock on you. And then, if all else fails, do a barrel roll. And of course, the barrel roll is good sometimes for trying to target all those people in front here because you get your target in the right place, do a barrel roll, and just press your missile button like mad. And Bob's your uncle, you've got virtually all of them. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.